And welcome back to Silverland Forest for episode 5 I think we're on. It's been a couple of days since I've done recording. Today's episode, episode 4, has just gone up as of starting to record this for Monday. So yeah, I had a bit of a sort of busy end of the week since my new video is out on Friday, I think. Yeah, Friday. Friday or... S no, sorry, no. Yeah, Friday. Also, with how things are at the moment, as I will, will at some point get to around and explain it properly, it's like, plan is batch record a bunch of videos during the week, so when I'm not at the PC over the weekends from Friday to Saturday or Sunday, depends on the week, then I always have enough videos for a every daily upload for seven days in a week. But anyways, back on to where we are. We've actually done not much prep work off camera. I see we have to change the forest or the ground or the forestry area just because we're planting new trees. Also helps with seeing the stumps. <laughs> yeah, so we spent quite a bit of money on that. That uh, did require another 50, 60,000 pounds though. So we're at 150 grand, I think, 160 grand in total debt. In terms of our sim crusher, that's come along very well. And actually, we also was able to get our hands on a a truck zone of rocks. I think it was about four years ish, so thousand eight years. We, who again had rocks in the property. They had them picked by some of a rock picker, and then obviously they wanted to remove. So we said we'll come and collect it, get our trucks worth, and yeah, so that's where we are. That means we need money desperately, so we've got one container full of timber and we've got a second one here that's going to need to fill up with six meter logs. But to help us on that money is we sort of sell some of our stuff, so we've got the train ready that has been actually waiting for some time, so we may have to pay close to one grand hourly fee. But these can be sold at Sunshine Cafe here. Sunshine Cafe, Sunshine Cafe. I see that helps us a little bit. Nice little measly tin grand there. Also for the bowls and pep grinders, I have to say with long planks usage, it will still use timber for now. But yeah, we need to start be a bit more, I won't say careful, but we need to be a bit smart with our long planks because we've got so many productions just now that need long planks. And also we need long planks for things like the boat production as well. Just with the boat now, we're approaching winter now, so we'll, we'll keep on working it over the winter period, but come like February or March time. Get you shut down. So yeah, come like February, March time. Got a bit of an audience here. Yeah, we should use it. Obviously, yeah, this time of year is quite cheap to buy boats, so that's perhaps why we have been asked to get it done over the winter period. It's ready. Because we sold to a customer, buy the boat yards, we just supply the materials and we get the money from it as part of the sale at the end of it. But the people who are actually ahead of us on it are not ahead of us, but pretty much the people who instruct us on what to build, how much to build, and how to give our quotas and all that. Yeah, they will basically put the boat down by the end of the year, so. Nope, and then we'll front our spawn up. But yeah, we'll take this to the old sawmill, because we, again, we've got a train waiting. And again, all this is going to be a little bit of cash. Perhaps I'll let this could go towards the road coaster. Actually, if we didn't have any prefab walls done, I know it's going to be about a grand loss each, but we may just take these back down. See what the Roku needs, see what the boat yard needs. I know the boat yard needs the floor and tiles, so that's for sure. Actually, yeah, we could do that instead. Also, over the winter period, we do need to see about getting the actual production machines up. 
That is going to be helped by what we're going to do in today's episode. So yeah, we'll go and return the train because the main aim of today's episode, as you see in the thumbnail, is tree planting. So yeah, 932 grand for a bait, not 932 grand, Christ, <laughs> no, 932 quid. But yeah, that costs us 932 grand, that'll, be, that'll break us. So yeah, actually what is needed at the moment, desperately for each. So the road coaster, wood beams, it's got plenty of long planks, got enough of, metal enough, four tiles, yes, staircase railing, it's got enough, but again it will accept a lot of these I'm pretty sure because of it will need it in the next step. But things like the planks, wood beams and long planks, perhaps not too much, but still, we'll top it up for now. And then, as we're going to New Year, I should be a bit more smart about it. But yeah, so, anyways, we'll go and continue on with this. Actually, what about the boatyard? What is that desperately needing? Wood beams really need, so we'll go and make sure they get those. See, so yeah, actually, and long planks, long planks with beams and four tiles, so. So that is with beams, and you are long planks. Yeah, it's only a thousand years, but again, it's one thousand years less it will need. But also, to get. Just to meet their quote, we will need to get the productions up for sheep in that, so yeah. March we're gonna be cutting kind of close, so hopefully they're not in too desperate of a rush for it. And actually we may if it takes the, actually if it if we try to separate the metal and metal and circuit rating could go to the road coaster. But the other stuff, that can really go towards the boatyards. So yeah, perhaps not the best of planning by me with this, but... but... Yeah, we'll get us all on. Yeah, you're long tanks as well, so... But yeah, that would be, that would have been so helpful at the moment, but... It is what it is. And then we'll take us back down to the relative cell points. Or where they're needed at the moment. At the road coaster. So we'll go and get you unloaded. No, we run that strap. Should be able to come up by now, surely. There we go. So this needs staircase railing and metal. So yeah, so if we go over here, I'll do that one strap. In theory, what I can do is if I move this forward a bit. There we go. No, no tip. Ah, bugger. That pad is now going to go flying away from us. I knew that, so we'll be prepared for that. Now the metal. Two pads here. 
And they say you can't stack them. What's this? Actually, rather than... It won't take him one metal. Alrighty then, so just circuit rain it is this needs. Might as well take it to the boat garden if it accepts it. If not then, they won't know for over the winter period. Is that every metal we get is just to be sold. Yeah, perhaps if we have, was it, the furniture factory can make armoire. Yep. Come on, Pat, behave yourself. There we go. No, we don't. Pesky little pallet. Yes, no salt for zero products, I know. So yeah, it's just a staircase rain it does need for sure. And I'm, I know what's going to happen, this is going to come off and then so the floor and tiles. I'm prepared for that. Come on. Completely miss that. Good thing we're taking care of our products. It's high quality materials. Not a single scratch on them. Shh, don't tell them. Come on. Ah. Burn me. Got some tricky pallets to deal with here. Got that all sorted. So now we use staircase readings. There we go, and we've got 3,360 quid for that. Yeah, I just don't know how much the boat guard needs off all this stuff, but... There we go. Make sure everything's all strapped down. Backside is up, yep. Hopefully this takes all of it, including the metal. If not, yeah, they can always sell the metal, I know, but... So it doesn't need the metal. So it needs in terms with long planks, it needs another seven pallets, I say eight. I don't know what this is gonna be like at times. It needs another four pallets of floor tiles. Metal it's got enough of wood beams, yep. Yeah. So six more pallets worth. So yeah, in theory that should be all five metal. Best place locally to sell it. Well, it's at Elm Creek, of course. And a road coaster. Where is the cell? Oh, there it is, over here. You know what? Let's just make a quick sell. Yes, we could make another. What's that? Another grand and a bit, so another 2,500 quid, but you know what? It also repels in comparison into. In hindsight, with everything else I've been have, so you know what? Twin grand for that, I'm not complaining. So now, let's go back to this park over here. Actually, I think let's get these streets cleared up first of all, and then yeah, I think we'll finish off cutting all these streets down to six meter lengths. I think if we could go to about here, I'd be happy. Then the rest of this we can always deal with another time. Clash you it's all this section hours or So yeah, it's just up to where the stream connects these two ponds up here. So yeah, our borderline is up to there, so what's well, a nice big boulder. So yeah. 
quite, actually quite a bit to do, so I think let's do a time lapse, getting a couple of these sorted up, get them loaded up. Old should get about if we do everything correctly. Was it 130, 160 grand? I always forget what we get for this. Six meter lengths, that's what we want. So what we'll do is we'll keep them come like this. One, two, three, four. Oops. Not perfect off. I think we get one more. And then the straggly bits will go over here. And we'll keep on doing that until we are done here. So yeah. I'll continue all this and see you folks after we're done.
put it down in editing, but yeah, so we did two trips already. We're about to do a third. And yeah, I just have to get a third container and hey, it straps on, it works. Hopefully it's fine because in that second one, this one did come loose a bit. And yeah, for some reason it just kept on pulling the tractor to the side or the bed to the side, not too sure why. Also we've got some mostly the, this is just a bit of tailings, well not tailings, but the scrappy ends up when going to containers. So I didn't chuck them in because in that second load we put one log in there that wasn't correct then it was like six point four meters so I thought it would fit in within the torrents. But no, because I had, did put like 6.4 or 6.3 meters in before and it worked fine, so I guess it's a 0.3 meter leeway either way. So I think first of all, if we hop into. Oh, yeah, also we've been collecting some old trees and all that, and this is full. So to show you the scale we've done, we scale this back quite a bit. Again. Still got a bit more because remember, we've got all these trees here to do on this side of the stream up to this little pond area. Let's just see if there's a collectible there. Nope, there ain't. So, that's still gonna be a, several containers worth. But then also, big work we've done is open up our yard area. Some seeds were moving, but it gives us some opportunities like. I think like trees, I'll plant trees all up here on the little slope here. Then from like here down. I'm not too sure what we do. I don't think should we put another little arrow field here? What do you think, folks? Should we put a little arrow field here? Or should we possibly get some greenhouses in that? So greenhouses or some other form of whether it's passive income, like generators. So if we go to our greenhouses. So we've got the maple syrup production. We do have the multi-crop greenhouses. So, large grape and olive orchard with pallets. Output on the right hand side. Could put like, a couple of these in. Not sure exactly how good they'll do. Some open air gardens. I've used those quite a bit on how chauvin. So, yeah, if we did, we were able to put a lot in, unless we did some serious landscaping. Get get it. So, yeah, possibly say one there. Bit of space. Perhaps we could get away with a second one in. And then, so if we go. So there are one, two, here with the greenhouses, and we can extend this bit here. Because yes, even though this was a show was sort of given to us when it was created, with all the stuff we've got now, it's, yeah, we're going to need a big shed. However, we also do have this patch of land here, which will be for our sheeps. Maybe cows, I'm not too sure where we should do cows, because I know they'll be straw, so... But if you get like, like one of these contracts again, like where we're having to do harvesting, get some straw. What is currently you plant? So, soybeans is in field two, oats in field one. Uh, what's that in? So, and we in field three. So, potentially, some work could be done there. We accepted another true transport contract with duty sort of off camera in between episodes, but yeah, that's a good 30 grand. So, 19 trees and a whopping 39 trees. So, our log trailer will be fine for that, but we'll be able to do two transports at once. And if you more pops in use market, yes, but not what we need. So, So turn you off. So yeah, this will go to the sawmill, I think. Because yeah, they could do a bit more timber. The wood turner's fine. Iron furnace, we did top it up in between episodes as well. And we've 
got a bit of money as well from. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that little rock crusher that is. There's a tree there, right? Is there. I don't know why. Like, I've seen other people <coughs> on PC on this series having some weird textured issues. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here because it feels like this. You hear the, the train, like the gate's going down, but the train is stuck. Well, it's not stuck, but it's at the old sawmill. Even though we haven't got it rented out, and we did return it. So, yeah, not too sure. Perhaps I need to save and then go back in for it to correct. But yes, yeah, so the other things I was just like weird. I think, but apart from that, overall on the map so far, I haven't got any issues with it. But I know with people on PC where they've had issues with it, a lot of it is like. Oh, if they can trees, if they can textures, like graphic settings, but I'm on PS4, so. I can't change anything like graphics wise on here. Oh, ooh, that was close. Yeah, I forgot that. It's quite top heavy since we do have those bigger logs on top. I think yeah, see the train is just over there in the distance, so yeah, I have no idea. And this will be a little bit of timber for the sawmill. It's not going to be too much, however, I do may have a cutting plan for this in the future, where we plant trees around here and then just get the big. Was on 63,000. So I'm interested to see why it is afterwards, but for now, we'll hop into you. And we should get about 240 ish. Because I don't think we put a wrong tree instead of 240, perhaps almost 250. But yeah, because he lost off your run shop and We'll tidy up, take some of it. Oh, see, like that. Already losing, it's like the container's already shifting. Good thing I actually caught cool that. Actually, wait, do I even have traffic on? Because I haven't seen any cars lately. No. What, what did I turn that off for? Maybe a bit of off camera work with the AI, try to get the workers to take vehicles around. Perhaps, but yeah, so what's what are we ever seeing cars about no traffic? Oh no. Ah uh, come on. Yeah, we've got the pull over here. There's no way we'll have to get Please new cars come, please. Thank you very much. But yeah, this should be a big straight away. So our debt is at uh, one six, yeah, one hundred sixty grand. So, and with the rest of money, uh, see that car stop there or that van. So, I'm not too sure. But with the money, perhaps looking at again the productions, more productions like the barrel factory. Because what we need, we need the barrel productions, jingles, and the furniture at the very least on top of my head for the certain bits I need at some point for the road coaster but yeah I'm not too sure has all that timber gone nope not yet that's still going away it's gone up by another 5,000 or so years I think I don't expect it to be a massive hole of timber. It's just a little top up. Yeah, mostly little loose end trees, but so yeah, Let's take this over here. And I'm, I'm gonna sort of be a bit cheeky. I'm not gonna follow the path because every time you cross that little wooden bit, you get the belly of the trees caught on it for some weird reason. Not too sure, but. Is what it is, so yeah. Two 
246, yeah. Because we don't have just rinse it up. Yeah, because we did return it, so... Let's try... Because we can access it, that's a weird thing. So, 681 grand. So that's gone now, hopefully this should stop. Let's give it a minute or two and just see. No idea how wide what's going on with the trains, but before we pop over here, I just love how just this works, the animation. Yes, it's... Perhaps I'll accept in... Oh, that's just tracks, I thought it was, so yeah. We've gone from what, like, so that's a good, just over 15,000 years of timber we put into the group, not into the greenhouse, into the sawmill. Turn you off. So yeah, that is going to keep us going for a fair while, so, yeah, a good fair amount of time. Let's just do a quick math here, so. If I get my phone out, so 460 for everything. So, yeah, if we go get our calculator up here, so we want 416 times by 24 times that by 3, just shy off 30,000 years that we'll use per month. So yeah, just under 10,000 per... So we got a good two and a half months worth of timber here. So yeah, as long as I say we do like a couple of those little strategy bits per in-game month. But we are going to head into January soon, so that's half a day, half a month. And then February and March. What is the weather like looking for March? Not too bad at the moment. For some reason it's saying... Yeah, I'm not too sure why, because... One minute it's... Yeah, so we're into winter. And... Rain. It did say it was going to snow all off. But what we can do for now is actually get this moved out of the way. Yeah, 186,000 years. I'm not even sure if the whole biomass team plan would take all of this, so but we can find that out in the next episode when we get built. There we go. Because now I want to focus on getting the tree planting done. And yes, that little excavator was nice, it was just so tedious of getting it perfectly done every time. Perhaps it's just a bit of practice and well, we've had the hang of it, but yeah. But the good thing is the 240 pallets does work with this, so we want you to go So uh, we did one like one line somewhere here Pretty sure we did, didn't we? Yeah, that's the thing about doing things and then sort of doing a bit of a gap. Is you sort of lose track of everything. So yeah. I will continue on with this. We'll do a little loop around. We'll leave space of course in that far corner over there. For the little production that we want. But yeah, I think in the I think actually like, this field here would have been like similar size to like fields two and that, but but yeah, I was gonna continue on this, get us all planted. See, see there we go. See the thing growing. So yeah, that's gonna take a good two and a half years or so. So that's it's a good thing I get it done now. But actually, before we sort of go into do a little quick time lapse, to get this done. 
We've cut 521 trees down in this series and in this episode of the Hone 142. Wow. But yep, I will continue on this and I will see you folks when we are done. So I think we're going to take a few pallets, so yeah. The final trees we cut down is going to be well replaced. here. In Sylvan Forest, you're only allowed to plant an additional 82 trees before the game says, can't plant more trees, cut more down. So, obviously I did sort of suspect that, possibly, just with the amount of trees around. Not just like the little trees around the town, but like how dense some of these forest areas are. But yeah, in terms of what we managed to do was, I think there's going to be a couple super super more dense trees than I planned. Like initially I sort of going around sort of see here the little pods here. Actually I barely touched over here too much. I thought I did this error here but I may have not done that so if we go over here you can see like so I've done tree here, tree here. That's what I was trying to get is keep about tracks with about 
so as we sort of follow in the time lapse you may have seen, we sort of try to follow the wheel marks, but at some points, like here, these are like three trees up. And yeah, can imagine those trees there growing right next to each other. Yeah. So you tell, like, once we've got to here, that's why I'm sort of up and down, up and down, up and down. Got a ribbon bond, and we've got to around here, I think. Then we hit the demo, so I thought we'll try to mulch a few more trees down. Trees along here, because that's what I was wanting to do, is get some trees planted just over the edge. So when we extend this yard out, because we will extend this out. I think for now, we may just fill this with, like, gravel or something. Actually, what, let's do it now. Okay. I'm sure we'll keep a little dirt area. And I did attempt a bit of landscaping over here. Didn't quite work out as planet like here. It's just ugh, really ugly. So if I try to get nice and smooth over here. So what we can do is at some point is put a nice fence line down. But yeah, there we go. So if we just go a gravel all the way over here. Let's just try to follow this around as well. So I'll just follow you around like so. Obviously these sometimes we will remove before of course we're doing work on this land, so. Don't worry about that, this is just sort of pre-putting stuff down. And of course, we can change the state on that. We do have a bit of extra cash about, so... That's why I'm not doing this now, just to... Get a rough idea in place for how we'll give. So this is we can do it now. So we go to Sculpting. Try to soften that as much as we can. Keep on holding X until that money goes down and stops. May take a bit of time. Uh, still not perfect. You know what? We'll forget about that for now. So yeah, we've got the forklift up here. We do have like prefab walls we're going to sell. We've got a I think we're a little bit short here. got 6,000 years off. Long planks, we need another two. Well, pretty much any more long planks we get this month in January to February. So, planks and wood beams will be all going to the boat yard. Rollercoaster has taken some progress. So, if we go to the Rollercoaster, completely forgot to show it overnight, so I do apologise that. Sorry, that throat sounds a bit crap. But yeah, see, like before, it was sort of like, just there. I should go to that. So yeah, before, like, the ramp, like, the actual slope was, like, to here. Oh, so you can see, our, some of our materials are already over here. And we're almost at the end of stage, or step one. Remember, we've got to preach this four times in order to get to stage two, which is step five. So, yeah, bit of a complication there. But, yeah, so it is a lot of exciting days ahead of us. And the next episode, what we'll try to do is. Yeah, get the biomass heat plant there because it's that time of year now where it's cold, it's freezing. So, no, we'll go off to this next route is right here. Haven't left to save yet, so we'll see if this sorts out in the next episode. Because what's the time now here it is Monday, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's a finishing this up. So, by the time, yeah, get ed edited. 
I get it uploaded initially, then when I do my re-rendering, just get the... Yeah, so... Last thing is, like, the longest part of it is just editing. doesn't take too long. But I'll probably spend a good half an hour to an hour just to go through things. Make sure things are good, make sure audio is all good and that. But a lot of it is just for it to take the process on YouTube. That piece will take a good couple of hours. That may be handy at some point. Got the smaller tri truck. I'm oh, sorry, it's lorry. Lorry. Key or whole trucks in me to watch so many American YouTubers and that. I had a tipper trailer for forage. Forage and sugar cane. So yeah. 39 pieces of timber here. And we got five nine. So a couple of grabs. I think this will definitely fill the trailer up, so if we go as close to the front as we can. There we go, like so. But yeah, this will easily we'll easy get these logs on, no problems whatsoever, because these are five metre logs, I think. But yeah, in terms of the tree situation, now, since we now know that, we could get away with mulching some more trees if we like to, feed the biomass heating plant. But at the end of the day, that really all depends on how much it actually takes in the first place. Because, chunks are, it may say, oh, it only takes 100,000 a year or so for wood chips, as the case said. We'll sell the rest, and for that extra 150,000 a year, so we'll get about. It's just a ah, bugger and blast. And I'm not on PC, so I can't just sort of do a quick cheeky super strength. We have to just like, grab that one. Turn you like so. There we go, that's it. Oh, and we've got snow setting now. So that's going to be fun now. That's really the good thing, like, getting these stuff over and that at this time of year is perhaps the best. In terms of materials and that for the boat yard and road coaster. It's because pretty not much work for us, you know, we've done replanting the trees. I very much doubt it being our old contract work. If there is, I will switch that up in a heartbeat. Yeah, we'll have a bit of overhang on the back because I didn't quite plan this as neatly with that second pile. I would have gone for a bit more if I could have. So, yeah, go and grab these. I mean, the trick is, like, just go and grab. And just sort of try to get them stack up again. In terms of like, the whole thing about damaging trees. I think that's more from cutting them down. So yeah, I've proper manhandled these trees like massive bridge into a river yet. However, perhaps that could be a good little cheeky couple of minute video. Not too long to do. So, so I do think that like, my hypothesis of what we count as damaging the trees is actually cutting them. Maybe even spraying them because thinking they are already cut down, so just need to spray. And could probably be seen as ruining the quality of a timber by vandalizing it, quoting sort of air quotes in that, vandalizing it because it doesn't need to be sprayed on. So, yeah, that's just that. Maybe, yeah, I think that's sure what I will do a video about that perhaps at some point this week. Yeah, so if like rest of Monday, if I could get eps the next episode or two recorded, get a couple of episodes in the bank, or at least one more episode, episode in. Yeah. Well, in terms of with like what I do with other Let's Play series, Alice Shaven, again, just with everything that's gone on, I'm, I 
may return to that, I'm not too sure. I do love that series, don't get me wrong. But survival, challenge, roleplay-ish. Play, role play Esque. That is something I would love to return on. Oh, that was so close for that from tipping over. So, no more strapping on for you. And these will go right at the end. One more here and one more underneath. Yeah, we'll shove these at the end. Hopefully, these ain't too tip side heavy on the right. But yeah, do we need to do this contract for money? Not really. And uh, yeah, I have to pick up one log from that side at least. So there's three more logs to pick up, so there we go, just pick up a sec. And then we'll recommence on the road. No, log, don't follow me. Oh, don't you follow me like that. Should you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Well, might as well we drop that one. So there we go. Out of the way, so yeah. Let me get on quickly, and then we'll reconvene as we head back to Sawmill. So yeah, there we go. We got those aspects of timber on. Ah, I've got to remember, it is going to be really difficult, so it's been down in nice. But again, I'd actually, from what I've her apparently so she would get quite deep in certain areas so perhaps what she could also do in the next episode is some winter work it turns with plowing in that certain things like road grit because obviously where it's all ice like this surely the locals would benefit us from you know doing a bit of work for them growing the roads or at least the main roads yeah then Perhaps, well, of course, I have to speak to the council and out, so the, the locals and out, the town hall and out, and see. Oh no! And I spoke too soon. As I was saying, yeah, we'll perhaps see some work done here. But Thunderbird One to the rescue here. Where are you, Thunderbird One, aka Volvo L180H? I need you. Wrong way. There we go. So, yep, yeah, let's go and rescue. See, I knew that was going to happen every time. That particular bend as well. Is so that bend or the one at the bottom to heal by field three? And there is a train again. So the bottom on top of not bottom on top of field three. Ah, uh, we've broken. What the physics? There we go. Nothing to see there. Just a bit of minor game break and stuff. So yeah, let's go and rescue this without getting ourselves stuck. Hopefully. Can go that way folks. That road is closed. Poor sod. What a fool. Don't you know that road is closed, you can't exit the map out that way. Ah, uh, healed her and don't worry. Meanwhile, Let's go and recover the lorry. You do these things is one of two things. I think that may help. Nope. Grab from the highest point, so which would be the medium stack. There we go. Hopefully we don't tip over again. But yeah, that road coaster's coming along very well. And actually in terms with the fabric it needs. How much will it cost to buy some? So if we pull over here a sec. So if we go to pallets, we could potentially buy the fabric. Which one is it? 
none of these. Got clothes. Fabric. I've seen 5,400 liters. I'm doing get a bulk discount for doing. But I was thinking if our target is by the new season, we're saying the season, which is like March time possibly. And yeah, I don't know if we actually be able to do that. So if we now know the train ain't going to come and hit us, we could do a little sneaky sneak. There we go. And deliver this load of timber. And then you killed us. And we've got 52 pounds for that. Off sold wood. Again, like that. From what I've seen others say about it. It makes no sense. But it's what it is. Yep. Next episode, we'll head up to field plot 25, field 25, where you want to call it. And get out of the timber. We should be able to come out of this way. Like so. Actually, how much would it be to get some snow equipment? Oh, we do have a U plow five meters. Could try. Let's go and I know we're on these stuff. We'll go and lease that, and we'll lease you as well. We'll get some salt. Big bags, perhaps of salt. There we go. So yeah, that is fourteen hundred in fees there. So yeah, that should be interesting. We'll try it out in the next episode. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, go for it down the below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to trying yet, then please consider. But whatever you choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this will be far more of a stream, and I'll see you all very soon.